Uh, this is the Savage XS. Still haven't got the body for it. It's taken ages. Don't know when it's going to be in stock. But I just want to show you my plans over the next, uh, probably next year now, we'll see. Um, but as you know from the motor chest Tuesday, uh, new motors arrived for it. It's the Rocket 3900KV540. If you haven't watched the motor test Tuesday of that, episode 14 should be on the channel already. Um, that is going to be paired with this Armour BLX100 ESC uh, but also I'm going to be using uh, this uh, truck here as my ESC testing rig so I have bought quite a few ESCs, I've done a lot of motor testing on the Team Magic uh, but I wanted to do ESC testing so that's what I'm going to do so obviously the first ESC we're going to test is the BLX100 from Armour. Uh, this was 45 quid off eBay. Uh, we also have a couple more. So we've got a X Team ESC. This is an 80 amp version, although on the box it doesn't really say. If I just take it out of the box a second. There we go. Right, it does come with uh, banana plugs for the motor if you need it. It's got a push button switch. Um, you can see how big it is. It looks like it's a decent size. Looks like 10 gauge or 12 gauge wire. 12 gauge wire. And that's 12 as well. You can see they're all black for the motor. And it comes with a Dean's plug, obviously I'm going to change that over to XT90s probably. Although I could leave it Dean's. And then it has got the cable to go to the receiver there as well. You can see on mine that's kind of almost coming out there. Which isn't the best. Uh, it did also have uh, these stickers on which you can see in the box there. Saying 120 amps even though it isn't. Uh, this is the 80 amp version, which that one was, but the stickers literally fell off inside the box. So, anyway, that's that's that one. So we've got an X team. Um, then up next we've got a Surpass ESC. This has literally just arrived today, and this is also the 80 amp version. So I literally haven't even taken this out of the box yet. You can see again, got a Dean's connector. This wire is thinner. Yeah, it's 14 gauge wire on this one. Yeah, the wire is definitely thinner. And you can see Surpass branding. The stickers haven't fallen off this one yet. Looks good though with a red heat sink. And uh, hopefully all of these fit in the car. This was the cheapest one. This is a Surpass KK series ESC. Um, it feels quite a bit lighter than the other one actually. I'll uh, show you all, all of them together at the end to compare. This one just has a normal slide on off switch with this little rubber cap on. So you can see that there. Uh, it's also a really weird shape as the casing, so that's going to be interesting to mount. Uh, the wire for this one comes out this side separately. So, yeah, that's that one. And then the final one we have is a rocket. So this is also the 80 amp version. And the reason we've got all 80s... Um, and the 100 BLX is because that's what you really want to be running in this kind of setup. If you watch the motor test Tuesday, you would know that the motor is rated to about 70 amps. So obviously an 80 amp PSC is going to be uh, perfect for the uh, for this motor. So this rocket one actually comes with the program card, which is nice. Oh yeah, you can already tell this one's a lot beefier, a lot heavier uh, than the other two. I'll probably weigh them all as well. 
So yeah, this one doesn't say much on it other than the rocket sticker on the side there, which is uh, already coming off. <laughs> but the wires are definitely better on this. Uh, we've got 12 gauge wires again. And on the battery side, these might even be 10. No, I think they're 12 as well. Yeah, the battery side's got 10 and a, again a Dean's plug. I might use the Dean's plug actually because all three of these have Dean's plugs on them. Uh, the switch is um, same as a ZTW switch actually. So, yeah, that looks like a slider switch and it's got a set button and then it's got quite a long cable for the uh, receiver wire as well so yeah that's it for the uh, overview of them I'll just quickly weigh them all for you so like I've mentioned previously uh, the BLX was off eBay for 45 quid I can't remember how much the rocket I can't remember how much any of these were I'll put a uh, price and uh, stuff in the description these were all off AliExpress so I've got the scales here so we'll go with uh, the rocket first so that is about 130 grams if it'll focus the KK series next wow 94 grams <laughs> definitely lighter and the final one which is the XT let me get it all on here 115 grams so yeah in order of weight I could kind of tell when I took them out of the box but the uh, the rocket is definitely the heaviest then the X team then the KK series so it'll be interesting um, switch wise I think the X team has got the best switch because it's a push button so it's no chance of uh, turning off uh, this is a slider feels pretty cheap and rubbish uh, this slider as well is a little bit better because it has a rubber cap but it doesn't have a set button to set your end points I'm guessing they're just hoping it's correct out the box or it has some kind of auto calibration uh, the KK series also has the thinnest wires 14 gauge the other two are 12 gauge for both the battery side and the motor side uh, but I, I must say that the rocket one has definitely got the nicest wires the uh, silicon coating on these is the thickest um, so yeah, they all look alright though. Um, cable length wise, I think the X team and the rocket are pretty similar. Let's just line them up there. So you can always use an extension on, but they're pretty similar. The KK series one here is a lot shorter. However, uh, it doesn't have to run very far from the ESC to the receiver in the Savage XS. So these should all be fine. Hopefully they all fit in. Size wise, the X team is actually the smallest. I don't know how well you can tell. And I would say the rocket one is probably the biggest, which makes sense because it's the heaviest. Just compare. Yeah, I'd say the rocket one's a little bit bigger than the KK series lengthwise. And then height wise. I think the, the KK series here is the tallest. Yeah, it is with its, its fan shroud. It's definitely the tallest is the KK series in the middle there. So, I don't know whether that will be a problem fitting in the ESC tray. I'm going to say the X-Team's the lowest profile one out of all of these. And it looks like the fan on the X-Team is replaceable as well because uh, it has screws up here whereas the other two I'm not sure if you can take them apart the KK series actually has screws on it as well but they look like tiny little shoddy Phillips head screws anyway that's just a quick overview of all of these ESC's that I'm going to try out there's four of them so 
is going to take a while, it's it's not going to happen uh, even in the next few weeks while it's winter but it's something to look forward to um, hopefully in the spring or maybe early next year we'll see but that's a quick overview of these three 80 amps and uh, I'll see you in the next one, goodbye